Hey, what's going on? I'm Brian Summers, photographer and content creator. And if it's your first time here at this channel, then take a second, hit subscribe, hit the like button, run those numbers up, because the more likes we get, the more likely this video will be seen. If you're not new to this channel, then you know that right about now is when I hit you with a sumsbrand.com video. So stick around, I'll catch you after this message, and we'll talk more about things that are on Sums Brand. This channel is supported by sumsbrand.com. We love the likes, but the merch helps to keep the content coming. Visit Sums Brand for original art, graphic tees, and more. And use the code SUMS for 10% off. For a while, I shot Polaroids, and I wanted to display them in a way everyone could enjoy. A standard Polaroid is about four and a quarter by three and a half inches. That's pretty small if you want someone to frame and hang it on their wall. So why not enlarge the image and print it? That's what I started doing, enlarging Polaroids and signing them as prints. Traditionally, you might have seen some people use the white border on the bottom of a Polaroid to sign a label. I like to keep the front clean and I sign the back. I'll only sign or mess with the front after I scan and print larger copies. When I framework, I usually mat the images and add a border. It makes me cringe when I see work floating in the frame, especially when it's an artist I like. A bad presentation devalues the art. Polaroids have a unique frame around them already, so there's no need to add a mat, unless that's just your thing. printed these out to 16 by 20 so a frame would be easy to find. It's a pretty standard size. You could find them from $30 and up. Maybe cheaper if you don't mind plastic instead of glass in your frames. You might recognize this shot of Bobby from a photo walk we did last year in Brooklyn. We stopped at a school basketball court with blue doors on the building. Since his shirt had yellow and red in it, it caught my eye. The blue background completed the trio of primary colors. I knew the shot would be blurry if he shook his hair, and I wanted to capture that motion. I wanted to see how it would look and if it would even come out decent. Polaroid film is temperamental, and chances are you won't get the same shot twice. So in a way, every image is a one-on-one. -on -one. As an artist, you want to create a level of rarity to your work. Photography and printmaking have negatives to reproduce the work. Digital images have raw or native files. Instant photography has one photo. I think that's pretty rare. And you can only reproduce it if you scan it. I'm gifting this print and collaborate with Bobby on a limited photo print tee. You can find that tee at sumsbrand.com right now and more enlarged Polaroid prints like this real soon. Let me know if you frame your Polaroids and if you want to see more print silence like this in the comment section. That's it for this one. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for alerts. Check out sumsbrand.com and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.